We have a health alert tonight about a new case of hepatitis A involving a student at Royal Oak High School. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig talked to families about their concerns. Royal Oak school officials are now advising students and their families to be on the lookout for symptoms of hepatitis A for the next several weeks. Surprised that there's a case of hepatitis A here? I am actually, yes. Um, I haven't really heard any hepatitis in the area, so I was kind of shocked that it was in the school. Hep A has already caused 25 deaths in Michigan, and now a student at Royal Oak High School has been diagnosed with a liver infection, and state officials have been urging people to wash their hands thoroughly because they say it's being transmitted person to person through fecal matter. I wasn't really too worried because I know that I didn't get the vaccine for it, so I should be good. If I was exposed to it, I wouldn't get it. Lots of hand washing, uh, you know, stay out of the bathrooms to the extent you can and, you know, just be safe. Are you surprised that a hepatitis case here has landed here in the high school? Not really. No, I, I, it's probably not related just to one school. It's probably all over the place. The principal at Royal Oak High now urging students and their families to look out for symptoms, including the sudden onset of abdominal pain, nausea, and yellowing of the skin or eyes. And if your child develops hep A, to contact their doctor and keep that child at home to reduce exposing others at the school. And yeah. it's scary. I mean, it's bad news regardless, you know. I tell them every day though, you know, make sure you wash your hands just because I work in the food industry. So I know what the hepatitis, you know, what can do. Royal Oak School officials not saying if the student who was infected is now back at school. In Royal Oak, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.